Question two. So a half as a decimal is 0 0.5. Remember, this is the tenths column. And um, 5 tenths is the same thing as a half. A part B, write 0 0.3 as a fraction. Well, as I was just saying, the column to the right of the decimal point is the tenths column. We've got 3 in there, so it's 3 tenths. Write 0 0.8 as a percentage. Well, think of 0 0.8 as being 0 0.8 out of 1. A percentage means out of 100. So to turn it to being out of 100, you've got to multiply it by 100. So 0 0.8 times 100 is 80%. Part D, work out 7.2 times 8. So I think one when it's as simple as this, rather than re uh, resort to the grid method, just write the two digits above the single digit like this. And then think about it. 8 twos are 16, so that's 6 carry the 1. 7 eights are 56, 57. And the decimal point needs to be here, because when you think about it, just 7 on its own times 8 would be 56. So the answer's got to be about 56, so the decimal point goes here. Part E. Now, when you are adding or taking fractions, if you've got the same common denominator, in other words, the number on the bottom is the same, you just need to follow the instructions. So 7 take away 3 is 4. Had it been 7, add 3, it would have been 10. But just be careful, the denominator does not change. So 7 over 12 take away 3 over 12 is 4 over 12. Now it does ask for the answer in its simplest form, so you've got to cancel this down. You've got to divide top and bottom by 4 to get to 1 over 3, a third.